welcome to Bamford Rose and another question of the week. This week's quite tiring. Sorry for that one. Tires. Uh, this tire at the bottom is the Bridgestone. It's the AM9 rated tire, V8 Vantage, DV9. This is a Michelin Pilot Sport 4. Obviously, the only advice given would be to fit the uh, manufacturer's rated tire. But if you're on track and you want the best uh, handling experience, or you want the best tyre allegedly, uh, it's definitely in the Michelin Pilot Sport 4. For the V8 and DV9, this tyre sidewall is noticeably more compliant than the Bridgestone. You get a comfortable ride, so it's a bump a bit better. It's much quieter. And then in turn in and grip, grip available on this tyre, wet, dry, everywhere, is just far better than than the Bridgestone. Uh, why did Aston go Bridgestone? Well, they're part of Ford, and I think Aston was lent on quite heavily to go for Bridgestone. But as far as I remember at the time, someone like Michelin wouldn't have been interested in supplying Aston or the tyre testing that went into it uh, for the volumes that Aston are going to consume quite low. Uh, volume tyre makers weren't really interested in niche car consumption, so they didn't want to endorse it like uh, the Bridgestone has done in this case. In going away from standard tyre uh, or, or the rated tyre, match or better exceed the load rating. I mean, this is an extra load 100Y tyre. Uh, the front and rear tyres, what they, 92, 94, 96 Y. So Michelin Pilot Sport has exceeded the load capability. In terms now of dropping the P0, on a DBS uh, V12V. Well, when Bridgestone did the rated tyre for V8 and DB9, uh, Aston, probably because of that Ford liking, tried to get Bridgestone tyre signed off on V12V, but the extreme speeds, extra temperatures that was running, it used to delaminate. I mean, this whole tyre section would just peel off when it was on high speed test. Pirelli came in and uh, with a, quite a bit of work managed to get a tyre that passed all the sign off tests uh, needed for an OEM. Nobody now is going to rerun those tests uh, to that temperature or speed extreme on, on this Michelin. And at what is it, 186, 190 mile an hour in a set climate temperature for a set time, would this tyre pass? Who knows? Uh, for that reason you can't properly endorse it as the tyre to, to go to, it has to be an individual's choice. But how many cars go above 150 mile an hour even? In the UK, I mean, even on track, that, that's quite difficult to do. So in terms of any risk associated with swapping from the branded tyre, the advised tyre on V12V and DBS to the Michelin Pilot Sport. Um, now many customers that have fitted the Michelin Pilot Sport, wet grip, fantastic, grip below seven degrees, which is like that tarmac temperature where those P0s really struggle at any, anything cold. And uh, that back end is, is sliding round where uh, the feedback is Michelin's wet and cold are much better. So on every measurable, apart from the high speed rated test, which no one can really do, no one's gonna do, then, then this is the better tire. Especially if the load rating is there, then you know, you've know you done your best to make sure that, that it's gonna pass the load rating. Price, well, the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 is actually cheaper than the Bridgestone and cheaper than the, the P0. So there's, uh, there's a whole lot of reasons for always going for the Michelin than any of the Aston branded tires.